Can an art wall be eclectic and still work? Erin, you say include the special mementos and include the hand-me-downs and make them part of your art wall. Just do it. You know, listen, I, this it is it. a next level thing for sure. Yeah. So you should, I mean, I get, guess get used to doing art first. Yeah. And then think about swapping things out seasonally. Yes. Getting things out of the cupboards is really is part of the fun of it. So yeah. let's start. You should always have some pieces of flat wall arts up on the wall first. This is a great piece. I love this piece. Part oh of my, my god, it's beautiful. Part of my collection at Hudson's Bay, which I love. This is a great yeah. piece from Renwick. I'm going to go look for that, that. Aaron. So that's Aaron's do. collection. That's great. And yeah. this piece here? Again, beautifully washy colors. Picks up beautifully on this wall color in the background. That's lovely. But let's get some pieces up on the wall. Okay, so what do you want to put up on the, on the wall? I think that you need to of... think outside of the box and yeah. have some fun with it. So the first piece we're going to put up is clothing. Oh. So we're going to hang this fantastic vintage robe up on the wall. I like this idea. Which if you look idea. at the colors, works perfectly yeah. with the colors in the space that we have here. The blues and the pinks, it helps to pull them out. Yes. Robe dressing obviously is very fashionable at the moment as well. Yeah. So think about adding clothing pieces like that and they can be vintage or they can be a new piece that you love that mm -hmm. you just don't want to part with. And so many of us fall in love with those pieces that we actually want to see displayed yes. all the time. So why not include that into your just art? You should be it. surrounded by things you love. Yes. That's nice. For sure. Next up, uh, my husband is totally into records, so yeah. we're always looking at records, but I always look at the vinyl. covers of them, and you people inherit record collections as yes. well. So I found this one in a great little vintage store, and I think this would look great up on the wall too. So I'm going to try and get this one up here, which is, uh, it's going to be a fiddle. Of course that can be art. You know, anyone that's got a good vinyl collection, yeah. it's going to be worth a lot of money uh, one day, because just like the kids can't read the clocks, they don't know what records are. <laughs> so it's we need true. to be teaching them. And I like the fact that records used to have the liner notes, and they used to have the beautiful art on the cover. Let see, me see was, if I can help you. Yeah, you need to, if you can hold it. Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's a teeny it's tiny a little teeny thing. It's a teeny tiny. There, I got it. Do there we go. Oh, oh. There's always something. There's always something. All right. Okay, so think about. You can actually do like a whole like you a could photo do gallery. You can you get frames for these as well. Yeah. But then why not think about just hanging them straight up there? Yes. Why so the next not? thing I'm going to show you is actually very small. What's that? So this piece is, is I inherited these cufflinks. Oh, these are cufflink. vintage coin cufflinks. Wow. So, uh, but obviously too small to hang on the wall. Yeah. So what I did was I took a photograph of that. Oh. And So I literally just with my uh, just with my phone. Did we get it? Yes, did we you did. get it? We did not. <laughs> <laughs> it's no. floating on nothing. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, good. There we go. Right. What a great idea! So you blow it up, and then it's art. So just on my phone, a photograph, and then done, printed up by poster jack. So so easy to do. From your phone. Yeah, just large scale photography like that. So so easy to do. That's amazing. I think that's beautiful, and, and then, it's got a story. Talking of jewelry. We've got this fantastic piece of vintage looking jewelry. Beautiful. I found this at Winners. Okay. But you could put a vintage piece up there, it would be quite fantastic. And I love a shadow box. Yes. And river frames from IKEA are literally a life safer. So you make it look like something special. You know, you take it out of hiding. If this could be go. something from your grandparents, something from your, your mom. That's right. Um, and you put it out there on display and it's gorgeous. You have art. Some people don't want to spend like $3,500 for a beautiful piece. No, for sure. So get that jewelry, Bring put it, it in a out. shadow box. Show it off. And here, a handbag. Very nice. There we go. Lovely vintage piece again. Again, it picks up on all the colors. Yeah, so that's nice. Why not think about hanging that up on the wall too? Oh, that's lovely. So I just love the way it's kind of a, an eclectic mix, but you have to finish it off. Yeah. So we've got this great lamp that's going to go in here from IKEA too. And I've got nice. more things hidden in the cupboards as well down There's here. There's more. So there is more. Come on. Okay, lovely. Got to finish it off. A few little vases. Oh, that's very nice. Because you know what? Because why not? You need a little vignette, and this little vignette, all these pieces are from Home Sense, so I love that. So now look at the final, uh, the final impact of this art wall. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. You got some vinyl. You got some older jewelry. You got a gorgeous cufflink, an uh, article of clothing, and a handbag, and it all looks amazing all together. Thank you, Erin. Thank you so much.